Over the last two years, you've probably seen Nvidia stock and thought, hmm, I wish I invested. And then two months later, you probably saw their stock again and thought, hmm, I wish I invested. And then six months later, you saw their stock and thought, right, I'm going to invest this time. And then deep seek drops and you lose half your money. Since this likely happened to you, you're likely pretty triggered. Well, I'm here to validate that resentment. What if I told you Nvidia does not have the best chips? Would that make you feel happy? Yes? Okay, let's begin. I'm TechBro. Welcome to the only tech channel where we roast the industry and still explain it better than your CTO. Today, we're going to be talking about how Nvidia still beats AMD, even though they have worse chips. In 2025, Nvidia has 93% of the GPU market. The other 6% is AMD. Calling AMD a competitor would be like calling Microsoft Edge a competitor's acquiring. But this case is a little bit different. AMD does have better hardware and spends more of its revenue on R&D than Nvidia. So what gives? Well, like any big corporation, Nvidia engages with something called lock-in. And I'm not talking about the thing you do when your assignment is late. I'm talking about CUDA, Nvidia's flagship fuck you to any of their competitors. Since you're likely pretty stupid, let me give you a rundown on what this actually does. When your cracked Asian researcher wants to run a deep learning AI algorithm, they will use a deep learning framework. And guess what? Under the hood, these frameworks use CUDA, which is the software that optimizes inputs from the computer onto the hardware. This is how things like ChatGPT were made, so you can watch brain rot while your AI does your essay. So does AMD do something similar? Yes, they do. It's something called ROCM. But unfortunately, it's ass. Well, maybe that's unfair. The issue is CUDA has been around for 18 years and ROCM has been around for nine years. Now that's a big difference, unless your name is Jeffrey Epstein. All the devs who were in their 20s and 30s in the early 2000s will have picked up CUDA's ecosystem. So now all the data centers and all the companies are built around CUDA. Now, is there anything that AMD can do to take down the video? Well, I mean, they did do it to the former CPU giant Intel. <laughs> you know, they even had the Intel CEO tweeting Bible verses they cut him so bad. Well, the answer to that is kinda. Look at how they did it to Intel. They offered more cores and threads, gave longer support on their chips, and made them cheaper. Let's look at what they're doing right now in the world of GPUs. Nvidia's most popular card is the H100, which has about 80 gigabytes of VRAM. Whereas the MI300X, AMD's most popular card, has 192 gigabytes. Also, AMD's card is 10K, compared to Nvidia's, which is 40K. If AMD keeps undercutting Nvidia, and if they manage to improve their software and get it distributed, there is a real chance that AMD could do what they did to Intel, but for the present, this is unlikely, but not impossible. 